In this video I will give you some examples, the value of some of my domestic singer sewing machines. But more important, I will tell you what makes a machine worth more or less. See timestamps for the chapters in this video. There is a lot of misinformation online about the value of vintage and antique sewing machines. Search on Google for value vintage sewing machine and you will see the most ridiculous prices. Like this Singer 128 listed for $800, while 50 is already considered as too high. Or even 3000 for this 1920s Singer 66. Nope, not true. A machine like this is only worth a few tenners. One of the hardest things to do is determining the value of your vintage Singer sewing machine. The value changes all the time. So if you have acquired one machine for a certain amount, you might sell it for a profit or need to accept a loss. But most Singer sewing machines are very affordable, even the industrial machines, so it's not an expensive hobby. I'm only talking about the domestic sewing machines and not the large industrial machines. Basically there are four factors you need to consider. The model you have, the condition it is in, the location where it is sold and how much someone wants to have it or someone needs it gone. There are other factors too but let me explain these first four. The model you have. Many are so common they are not worth very much, like the Singer 28 and 128. The Singer 221 Featherweight is one of the most sought after models, so it's worth more. I have a video on which model you might have, see link below. But you can enter the unique serial number in the database to find out what model you have. The condition it's in. This Singer 15K88 was like new. It even had the protective paper in the suitcase. So it's worth more than a rundown Singer 66 with paint chips missing from the black lacquer. The better the machine looks, the more it will fetch. The location. Some machines are common in certain parts of the world. One you see all the time is a Singer 128 like this, so the value is not a lot. Look at this model 24 made in the USA. Over there it's common, but here in the Netherlands very rare, so I overpaid. Big time. And some machines are not very common in the US, like a Singer 30 or this Singer 40 toy, which is not worth a lot. But the Singer 222K is. That brings me to how desirable the machine is, or how much someone wants or needs a certain singer. The Singer 221 and 222, the two featherweights, are desirable, even when over 3 million 221s have been made worldwide. To put it like this, if you really want a rare machine, you're going to have to pay extra. I wanted this 306K for a new video. I only needed one shot of it, so I bought it for 65 euros. I filmed it for an hour and then I sold it. I regret it to this day. So these were the most important factors. Some other factors are the version you have, with or without the accessories, and a little or a lot of luck. The version you have. For example the Singer 15 had dozens of variations. The first model 15, the improved family, often came in a treadle table. But this one is portable with a bentwood dust case. People want convenience, so most likely they want to buy a smaller machine in a case and are less interested in a machine in a table or a cabinet. I bought this trashed 201K in a destroyed cabinet. Sorry, don't hate me. I put it into a period correct suitcase. And now it's portable. Do you have a complete set? This little box with all the accessories of an early Singer 201K increases the value, just a little. If you don't have any accessories, it's worth a little less. Do you feel lucky 
Well, do you? Well, I did. Once I saw this Singer 128K for sale locally for only 5 euros. This Singer 20 was 40 euros. And this 221 even 125 euros. Sometimes people want a machine gone. If they are willing to sell it, you might offer more than they are asking. That's noble, but it's fun to be lucky sometimes, right? And now some examples. All my machines were bought and sold in the Netherlands, so keep that in mind. I bought this single 128k for 5 euros and this later 128k for 50 euros. In my opinion, an excellent machine like this can fetch close to 70 euros in the current market. A number of 15k 88s were acquired for 20 euros or less. It is worth up or over 50 euros for a good machine. An earlier Singer 15 like this one can fetch anywhere from 15 to 50 euros. This Singer Improved Family was sold at my local thrift store for only 15 euros. But it's worth at least 40 to 50 euros in my opinion. This Singer 66 has seen better days. It has a value between 15 and 30 euros or even more depending on its condition. And its little sibling, the Singer 99, between 25 and perhaps even 60 euros. I guess the restyled version, the Singer 185, is worth the same here in the Netherlands. A 319 and a 401 now between 35 and 90 euros, depending on the condition and the accessories. The 201 is a special machine, according to many. In my area, 50 to 150. And the Singer 221 and 222. Honestly, I don't dare to estimate the value. Those can change almost every single day. Where to buy one? At any given moment, there are around 6,000 sewing machines for sale at the Dutch site Marktplaats. Check your local buying and selling websites like eBay, Facebook Marketplace and even auction houses. Or estate sales, yard sales and your local thrift store. When you are selling, please be aware that your machine can be a unique antique. Don't dump it into a skip. When dropping it off at the local thrift store, a worker can dump it into a container for recycling. So please, please, please give every machine a new home. Please consider putting it on Facebook Marketplace, eBay or Craigslist. The message of this video, putting a price on a vintage singer is difficult. Often they are not worth a lot of money, but people do like them and collect them. Well, that's it for now. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.